march ahead. Survive me. Make every strike count! me off it's not exactly unexpected what else are we supposed to do with you you're not just a traitor you're a monster the young ones believed you and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh I was trying to make them strong what have you done for them what were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe 
You're useless, Len. I led by example. I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you. And they were turned into mindless animals, ready to eat corpses at a demon's command. I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Unlike you, I have no intention of just lying down and politely accepting death. I will rise above all this, while you'll still be stuck with your pride, chewing on rats. <sighs> it's gone. It was just there, and now it's gone. It's gotta be some kind of demonic trickery. You need to have a cleric look at that. If he had been marked by the Abyss, do you think some nobody priests will be able to help? No, the demons have branded this Uplander. And judging by the smell of his blood pouring from his chest, the demons will be able to find him wherever he goes. And they'll find you too, Lan. Better to serve a strong master than to eke out an existence in a dark hole with no hope. I am of the Neethers. Our lives are short, but we are hardier than humans. I realized a long time ago that I was capable of more than this life offered. And I follow whomever is the strongest. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were proud of your heritage, but you're willing to crawl on your belly before anyone who's even a little bit stronger than you. You're not a mongrel. You're a cave slug. You have no understanding of the meaning of family or tribe. <laughs> oh, so now you think you know everything about me. You're one of the best hunters in the tribe. It benefited me to ingratiate myself with you. So I acted in a way that pleased you. Sava Malik is always in need of new servants. You'd make as good a servant as anyone else, and then... <laughs> once you've gone missing in the maze... Not even the redoubtable Lan would have dared to look for you. But then why did you come with me to look for the sword? So I could kill you quietly if you found it and stop you taking it to the village, you idiot. I would have told everyone that you got caught in a cave-in. But then the Uplander showed up and I had to change my plans. Yes. Priscilla found me in the caves. I was lost and hungry, and she offered me a choice. Die as a nobody, or live, and gain the power to change everything. Sava Malik tore off a piece of an Azimar priestess's thigh. A big, juicy piece. More meat than I'd ever received in the tribe. That was the first time I knew what it was like to be happy. To have a full belly. I swore to myself that it would always be that way. Then the madness and rage took over. I came very close to turning into an animal. No better than the weaklings you saw in the maze. But I am strong. I mastered myself. I brought myself under control. I fell so that I could rise again. You should have chosen death, 
Dying's better than living like that. You're saying I should have died that day, Lan. But then who would have listened to your feeble jokes? Who would have showed you the best caves for hunting? Who would have made you a man? I would have been fine without all that. And without you. Your death will make the world a slightly better place, Wenduag. It was simple. I lured those I deemed worthy into the maze. To the rest, I told stories of the horrors of the maze, making them stay away. It all hung in the balance when the cave walls shuddered and many of the young ones decided that the time of their great exodus had come. I had no doubt that Hosilla would dispatch a dozen young neaters easily. But what would become of the maze if all the tribes poured in? So when Lan ran off looking for the Angel's sword, I went after him. Not to help him, but to make sure that the sword never reached Neatholm. It's a pity that you got involved and stopped me from killing him. But then again, the evening gong has not yet been struck. You sickened me. <sighs> You're all bark and no bite. Farewell, Uplander. Next time, I won't spare you. She's gone. But next time, she won't get away. Damn it, Wendu. Why'd you have to go and... Anyway, there's no point crying over spilt milk. Give me a couple of minutes. I'll bring the chief and the rest. I need to clear my head.